In this video, we'll be doing some more examples of integration of the natural logarithm function. Recall that the rule that we're using is the integral of 1 over x dx is equal to the natural log of the absolute value of x plus a constant. For composite functions, the rule becomes the integral of 1 over u du is equal to ln absolute value of u plus a constant. Our first example is to find the integral of x squared plus 2x minus 3 over x cubed plus 3x squared minus 9x plus 4. Now notice that the degree of the denominator is 1 more than the degree of the numerator. So we need to use our log rule. We'll let u equal x cubed plus 3x squared minus 9x plus 4. The derivative of that then, du, is equal to 3x squared plus 6x minus 9 dx. And um, this has a common factor of 3 in all of the terms, which I'm going to factor out. x squared plus 2x minus 3 dx. Now we can see that x squared plus 2x minus 3 is up in the numerator. So I have that part in my problem, and I have the dx in my problem. I need to get this 3 over with the du. So let's divide both sides by 3. And we have uh, 1 third du is equal to x squared plus 2x minus 3 dx. So now I can rewrite this problem. And we have the integral, the x squared plus 2x minus 3, and multiplied by the dx, that I'm going to replace with 1 third du. And then this denominator is u, so I have 1 over u times 1 third du. My 1 third can come out in front of my integral. So I have 1 third times the integral of 1 over u du. Now using our rule then, we know that that's the natural log of the absolute value of u. So this is 1 third times the natural log of the absolute value of u plus a constant. I still need to fill my expression in for u. So I have 1 third times ln absolute value of x cubed plus 3x squared minus 9x plus 4 plus constant. And I can bring this up as an exponent on my argument. So I have ln of x cubed plus 3x squared minus 9x plus 4 to the 1 third, which we know is a cube root. So ln absolute value x 
cube root x cubed plus 3x squared minus 9x plus 4. Now, the absolute values need to be around the argument. So the fact that I took them out from around this, what becomes the radicand, is okay because the, we're still making sure that the argument on the natural logarithm is a positive number. Let's do another one. Now on this one, we're integrating x squared minus 4x plus 5 over x minus 2 dx. Now notice on this one, the uh, degree of the numerator is bigger than the degree of the denominator. So as this is, we don't need to use our um, new logarithm rule. Okay. However, uh, what we would do to start this problem is we would actually divide this out. So um, I'm going to use long division. Since this is just x minus 2, though, you could use synthetic division. Um, let me go ahead and use long division. I have x minus 2 as my divisor, and then x squared minus 4x plus 5 as my dividend. And then x squared divided by x is x. And then I'm going to multiply this x times the divisor. So x times x is x squared. x times negative 2 is negative 2x. My next step is to subtract. Um, and algebraic subtraction means that we change the signs and add. So I'm going to change this x squared to a negative x squared. And I put a circle around it to uh, remind myself that I have changed it. And this minus I'm going to change to a plus. Now I'm going to add. So positive x squared, negative x squared, those cancel. A negative 4x and a positive 2x is a negative 2x. And then I'm going to bring down my next term. Continue this process. Negative 2x divided by x is a negative 2. A negative 2 times x is a negative 2x. A negative 2 times negative 2 is a positive 4. Now I need to subtract. So this becomes a positive and this becomes a negative. These will cancel and I have 5 minus 4 which is a 1. So my problem now is integral of, and I have x minus 2, and then I had this remainder of 1, which I have to write as plus 1 over x minus 2. And that all is integrated with respect to So even though this uh, degree was one bigger than the denominator, um, I do need to use my log rule on this term. So we'll integrate each of these. Now this one doesn't require u substitution since the derivative of x minus 2 is just 1. So uh, when I integrate this, I can split this up and have the integral of x minus 2 plus the integral of 1 over x minus 2. That way you can see the log rule easier. Um, increase the exponent by 1 and divide by the new exponent. So this is x squared over 2. The integral of a constant, this will be a negative 2x. And then this will be uh, ln 
absolute value of x minus 2 plus a constant. Um, there's nothing more that we can do to simplify, so this is our answer.